Today I'm going to show you how Mandy and I sleep in a tiny Toyota. We spent about two months in Australia, half of it traveling around the country and the other half working on a farm. We got a cheap little car rental and this is kind of what we lived in for that entire month of traveling when we weren't on the farm. Uh, at first we did buy a used tent but we quickly found out that it was not waterproof and ever since that night we opted to just sleep inside of the vehicle. And it worked great, it kept all the bugs out and the rain out and it kept us happy. As you can tell, this is not a big car and I'm a big person. So it's a complete mess in the back. Everything we own is in the back. I've got a suit in there from a wedding I was the best man at a couple days ago. It's a mess, it's full. But first things first, we gotta slide these seats all the way forward. Let's get that done. Same goes for this one. Next is we're gonna put our backpacks, our big backpacks down into this hole here and it kind of just fills in the gap so that we can get a nice level surface in the back. You can see we've already got the seats folded down. So let's see, I'm going to leave out my hard drive and laptop so we can watch movies in here tonight. <laughs> Slide this stuff forward. I gotta hang my suit up. Okay, so on the bottom we want the non-breakable things. Got some bags, got my clothing bag. Please don't make fun of our mess. If you've ever lived in a car, you know it's impossible to keep clean. But, I don't know, let's see, I'll put some clothes. Do you want these clothes tonight? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna leave these clothes out. My pajamas. Yeah, your pajamas. Okay, that one. So now we've got a pretty level surface. So I can pull out the rest of this stuff and I'll show you where it all goes. But now we can put the bed out and start inflating our bed. This is our kitchen tub. We actually just bought a bunch of used kitchen gear when we got there. And it worked great. We used it and then when we left Australia we just sold it. We leave our water out at night but we do put our food up front so that no kangaroos or critters get into it while we're asleep. As for the bed, we roll it up every day, but we just leave all the blankets and pillows inside of it and get it out of the way. So now we spread it out and start inflating it. And yes, you can buy an inflator, but that costs like five bucks, and who has an extra five bucks? So Mandy's got it almost inflated. One thing we gotta do is we park it on a slant because it's kind of like this. So if you park it on a slant, it becomes level. How's it going? I think really good. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Yeah. So our cozy bed is now made, heads go down here, and when we close this, our heads go right underneath the window, so we can watch the stars from right there. We can see the stars at night. So Mandy, you want to demonstrate how you get in? Oh no, I think you want to. Okay, you can hold it. Okay. So getting's in a little tricky, I'm six foot six, two meters, but it takes a little bit of work, but clean your feet. So yeah, I'm tall. I'm six foot six. I'm taller than most people, but I can stretch my feet all the way out, and I still have space to go. So we we come in here, cuddle up, watch some movies, <laughs> and it's a great night. And yeah, it's cheap and it's really fuel efficient. So we don't pay much for rental and we don't pay much for gas, and it takes us all over the country. Yeah, this is a little little cozy mini camper van.